Starship SN8 launch. What exactly happened? SpaceX, the American aerospace manufacturer, along with its CEO Elon Musk, had time and again promised the people living on Earth that they'll transform their world by sending at least a million of them to Mars by 2050. Recently, it took a giant leap on its mission to Mars as its famous super-heavy, fully reusable rocket, named Starship, the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, was being tested at its Boca Chica launch site in Texas. Reportedly, SpaceX started testing their series of prototype launch vehicles back in 2019, with the first one named Starhopper, which was then followed by MK1, MK2, and so on. Starship's serial number 1, SN1, originally named as MK3, was decommissioned in February 2020, and since then, almost every month, a launch vehicle is being tested by the SpaceX team. Now, why was this one special? Firstly, the Starship serial number 8, SN8, was the highest and the riskiest test flight launched to date by SpaceX. None of the earlier vehicles crossed 500 feet above the launching pad. The SN8 was destined to cross an altitude of 40,000 feet, and it really did touch it, making it the highest altitude of any Starship test vehicle yet performed. It was also the first time that multiple Raptor engines were fired together in a flight. To be precise, Three massive Raptor engines, each capable to generate six times the thrust as an engine on a Boeing 747, were used in the SN8 test flight. SN8 lasted for about six and a half minutes in the air, while none of the earlier missions, including the Starhopper SN5 and SN6, lasted more than a minute into their flight. Earlier, before the start of the launch, SpaceX in a statement declared that SN8 is designed to test a number of objectives, which includes how the vehicle's three Raptor engines will perform, the overall aerodynamic entry capacity of the suborbit flight, including the movement of its body flaps, to collect data on how SN8 could re-enter the Earth's atmosphere after returning home from an interplanetary mission and guide itself to an error-free landing point. Here's what actually happened that day. The test mission, which Elon Musk gave a one-in-three chance of surviving, was originally scheduled on Tuesday, December 8th. But unfortunately, it encountered a problem with one of its Raptor engines, which triggered an automatic abort just 1.3 seconds before its official launch. The following day, in its second attempt, they started a bit early, but the launch was apparently kept on hold for an hour and a half before it could actually see off the launching pad in what we call it as its third and the final attempt, just 20 minutes before the closing window. As high as a 12-story building, this monster vehicle commenced smoothly as it successfully flew 12 and a half kilometers above the ground. For the initial 100 seconds, it was backed by three Raptor engines, which used a combination of methane and oxygen, enabling a powerful thrust required to propel the gigantic structure high up in the sky. It was at this point of time when one of the Raptor engines was shut down, resulting in the formation of a small fireball which many amateur observers believed was a big failure. It eventually did invite a lot of concerned comments as well. But it was all normal, as Musk suggested on Twitter that the first leg of this flight had gone exactly as planned. The subsequent 90 seconds saw the remaining two engines continue to accelerate the vehicle upwards, while one of them was ultimately suspended at 3 minutes 13 seconds from liftoff. Now, as you can see, the speed of the vehicle has decreased as only one Raptor engine shares the load of the entire rocket. At around 4 minutes and 40 seconds, the Starship has reached the highest point in the flight, also known as Apogee. All the engines at this point went off, and as the result of the reaction control system, we can see cold nitrogen gas spurting out of the Starship in order to help it flip over. The vehicle has begun to descend now. Since this was a test flight, it was not fully fueled, as that would make it too heavy. Actual Starship missions would be much heavier and will also possess powerful hot gas thrusters than what we are currently witnessing. The so-called belly flop maneuver is now on display as the Starship has started adjusting its flaps up and down in different combinations to be in a perfect position so that it can land exactly as a skydiver does, soft and smooth. The movements from the flaps help the Starship manage its direction, rate of subsiding, and it also sees that it does not fall too quickly. At about 6 minutes and 30 seconds, after passing through a cluster of clouds, you can see two Raptor engines have restarted to flip the test flight back into its vertical position for a smooth landing, just as planned. 
But as you can see, when the vehicle turned, one of the engines shut down, and the other starts burning itself, exhausting green gases out of it, while the SN8 touches the launching pad at a velocity higher than zero. With the loss of thrust, Starship crashed onto the ground, making it a failure at the end, but only for the bystanders. For the company and Elon Musk, it was a huge success, as the CEO declared the success of the mission in a series of tweets a couple of days later, which reads, Successful ascent, switch over to header tanks, and precise flap control to landing point. While replying to his own tweet, he stated, Fuel header tank pressure was low during landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high and RUD. But we got all the data we needed. Congrats, SpaceX team. Hell yeah. An hour later, he tweeted, Thank you, South Texas, for your support. This is a gateway to Mars. Mars, here we come. While responding to a tweet confirming whether the engine shutdown was intentional or not, and about the rocket touching the planned apogee, Musk replied, Yeah, the engine did great. All in all, it was a triumphant undertaking, which was concluded beautifully, except for the landing part. No harm to any life was reported during the test flight thanks to the five-mile radius barrier one needed to follow from the launch site. As the camera zooms out, one can witness the Starhopper on the right side of the screen, kept at the launch test site of SpaceX, and to its right, one can see the place from where the SN8 was launched, which concluded in about 400 seconds after an astounding test flight action. The same launch site, which will soon witness SN9 taking off, which already is in an advanced state of completion in the workshops in Boca Chica. But one may not expect any major changes in it from SN8, as Elon Musk rightly tweeted on November 24th. Many small improvements, but overall similar. Wiring is more robust, engines are more mature, nose cone is sealed better. In another tweet, he mentioned major upgrades are slated for SN15. So we can figure out SN9 and SN10 would not excite us more, but yes, we definitely have to wait for SN15, which was initially scheduled for a November 2020 launch, but we think the wait shall continue at least till mid-2021. So that's it from us today. Hope you enjoyed the video and got to know something new from us. Let us know through the comments section below if you want to know more about any such mission. And please help the luxurious lifestyle by liking this video and subscribing to our channel.